Good afternoon. Um, I have a couple words about uh, carburetor sizing, whether it be like putting this 800 ABS on a mild 350 or some people saying that uh, you only need about a 600. You know, you um, both can be true to some extent, but uh, one of the reasons why there's so much confusion is that carburetors are rated at a different vacuum than the engine runs at wide open throttle. Um, typically when they're dyno testing engines, they want to see wide open throttle to be pulling about half an inch of vacuum. But your carburetor, um, if it's a four barrel typically, is rated at one and a half inches of vacuum. And a carburetor that's rated at 600 CFM at one and a half inch vacuum is going to be flowing less than 600 at half inch vacuum. And so if you use one of those calculators where it comes out with a result saying, oh, your, your 350 only needs 557 CFM, for instance. Well, that calculation is probably true, but a 600 four barrel probably doesn't flow 557 CFM at half an inch of vacuum. Um, I can't find data online as to what exactly it does flow, but there's a lot of hot rodders that have learned that their engine that supposedly only needs 550 CFM runs much better with a 750 on it. And that's probably because uh, a 600 flows less than 550 at half inch and the 750 might flow about 600 at half an inch. I don't know. Um, and so that's where the confusion lies is that the carburetors are rated at the wrong, at the wrong uh, pressure drop for what you're measuring when you do that calculation. Kind of like how cam companies will have advertised duration versus duration at 50. The advertised duration doesn't really have much utility. Um, in the case of the ABS carburetors and also like the Holly vacuum secondaries and there are derivatives of that, you can, from practical purposes, adjust the size of the carburetor with adjustments to the vacuum secondaries. With the ABS, it's just a screw that you turn to adjust the spring tension on the the hollies and similar, you have springs that you could change. Um, either way, uh, if your 750 is actually too big, putting a stronger spring has the effect of actually making the carburetor a little bit smaller. Um, and that's why uh, even if you had a stock 350, you could make a 750 holly work on that if it's vacuum secondary. If it's a double pumper, you might have drivability issues. Um, I shouldn't say might, you probably will have drivability issues because that's more of a, a racing carburetor or something that wants like, you know, 400 horsepower or more. But that's what I wanted to say. And uh, that's why um, I feel confident running such a big carburetor on this engine is uh, A, the ratings aren't, they the, the way they rate them is wrong. And B, um, the ABS is adjustable. So you could adjust this thing down to the size that you need. Okay, that's all I have to say about the carburetors.